Alright, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Day six hip hop abs. We're going to see what it did. I don't really see, like, as y'all can see, I'm sweating. And, uh, sorry. You know, call it a while. We got to pull our pants up. I'm sweating and I just got to doing hip hop abs. This is day six. I only do the 12 minute version. I'm going to see if we see any results. You have to go to my previous video where I say day one. This is day six. Um, I don't remember my measurements um, from that one. So I'm just going to take them and then by the time I upload all this, I guess I'll put notes. So this is a side view, back view. I don't know if like my fat has left, but um, I do notice like it's weird. I'm not really seeing the results in my abs. I'm seeing it like in my arms. Like my arms are getting smaller, which thank God because oh, I can't stand big ass arms. So my arms are getting smaller. My butt is actually lifting. It's getting kind of tight. He has like this tilt and tuck move. Like when I do that, you can see like the little. And then he has you like doing all this kind of stuff. So I guess it's like toning this up, but my butt is lifting. And I'm I'm good with my butt lifting. And we always good with the butt lifting. So hip hop abs is actually giving me results in places that I wasn't expecting, but I'm very appreciative of. Um, so I'll take my measurements. Thirty-two. I don't know what I was on the last time, but it's it's at thirty-two right now. Um, I pull these down a little bit, not to be, you know, trying to show y'all my goods, but just so y'all can see like the love handles, cause I had all this pulled down. So it might have slimmed up a little bit. Yeah, I was pinching way more fat than this before. It's still a lot. It's still jiggles. Um, on like day two, no, day, yeah, day two, I was really, 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 really bloated. Like, it felt like I didn't do any type of exercise. I was just like, like, I can't push my stomach out. I was like, out to hip. And then day three, I was really, really bloated and like jiggy. And then day four, it started to like go down a little bit. I guess my, my muscles were swelling up or relaxing or healing. I don't know. But um, right now I'm at 32. We'll see. Um, this little pudge right here is going to be the death of me. This little pudge is 36. I can't stand it. It, it. It's right here. It's this right, this, this right here. It won't go. It just jiggles and it's so gross. And I really want to get rid of it because it's getting on my damn nerves. So, um... I don't know why I just did that, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, this is day six. We'll see uh, what it do. I'll come back in day ten. Um, I don't do anything in additional, but walk two miles a day. That's it. But I don't change my diet, and that's why I'm saying real people results, because I don't change my diet. I'm going to eat. So, I feel like. I just, you know, God would, knew what he was doing when he didn't let me throw up. Because, you know, I'd be throwing up everything. Like, I cannot throw up. I threw up twice in my life. Once a kidney infection, second time food poisoning. And I'm 31. So, um, yeah, I don't throw up. And he knew what he was doing because I would be so bulimic. It would be unreal. I mean, teeth would be gone. But I'm not, praise God. And I'm just going to exercise my way to sexiness. So, I keep doing this because I don't know what else to say. So, I'm about to get off. I'll get y'all again in day 10. And we'll see what happens. So, this is the difference. And y'all can go to my video day one. And I guess compare. And then, next time, I'll use common sense and put all three days on one video. And then, y'all won't have to go back to fourth. So, we'll see. All right.